Hey guys, it's Jen again from The Watch Village and today we're going to be reviewing this super cool Tudor Black Bay in ceramic with a reference code M79210CNU. As you can see, this one is ultra stealthy. It's got that all black sleek look, meaning that it's quite eye-catching and goes with pretty much any outfit. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this review and start off with the packaging. So in terms of packaging, we've got that standard black Tudor outer and inner box which when opened up has got a lovely soft lined interior with the Tudor logo stamped on there. As well as the addition of some nice little hidden compartments to keep your extra packaging, straps, links, etc. And as always, as included as standard, we've got the instruction manual, the guarantee booklet and the warranty card. As for the specs of the watch itself, it is an automatic piece powered by the Calibre MT56021 u movement. This is a METAS certified movement, so it does mean that the watch is a master chronometer. Fantastic timekeeping on this one. As for the dimensions of the watch, it does size up at 41mm in case diameter. It's got a lug width of 22mm and a thickness of 14.5mm, so quite an average shape watch really. Fits pretty much all wrist sizes, looks good on the average wrist. Moving on now to that gorgeous domed black dial. It's pretty simple overall as you can see, which I think is quite necessary to achieve that sleek, clean look. The main focal point of the dial to be honest and what really brings your attention to it is that crispy clean white set of hands and numeral markers which Tudor have decided to keep in the traditional Black Bay style, with of course the addition of that very controversial snowflake hand. It's a very Marmite feature on there, some people love it, some people hate it. Me personally, I really like it, just because I think it distinguishes Tudor watches away from every other watch. You kind of know that you're looking at a Tudor as soon as you see that snowflake hand. Also, quick point to mention, those hands and numeral markers have all been treated with Super Luminova, so this one does look absolutely fantastic in the dark, especially with that black dial as well. Really stands out. Unfortunately, we haven't got a shot of it on this video though. But another nice attention to detail that Tudor have added to this watch is that the Minute Track logo and the writing have all been printed onto the dial in a light grey colouring, just to make sure that they do stand out from that copious amount of black. And of course, as it's pretty hard to miss, the dial has been topped off with a lovely thick dome sapphire crystal. Overall, as I did mention before, this one is quite a simplistic dial, but it does boast bags of character. There's not many other Tudors that look like this, and I think it's really helped as well by the blacked out feature of the bezel. As you can see here, the bezel's been treated with a black PVD coating, where even the diving scale has been blacked out as well, just to give it that really, really stealthy look. I like the way as well that the bezel has been given a lovely sunray satin finish, really does help to break up the copious amount of matte on the watch and really gives the bezel a nice little shimmer of its own. And as with all black bays, this one is unidirectional. Tudor do a really nice job at putting those micro teeth right on the outside of the bezel just to give some easy grip when rotating. And continuing to carry that all black look the whole way through, the lugs have also been treated with that PVD coating, but they are actually made from ceramic, as is the whole of the case. And as you can see from this shot here, the lugs have actually got a real nice micro blasted finish on top, and then we've got a polished strip running right down the flank that separates the lugs away from the rest of the case, gives them their own little character. When we take a look at the side of the case, we can see some real nice fluidity here. That micro blasting has been continued and of course that all black design as well, making the case feel really smooth and silky. The exact same setup can be seen on the crown side of the case, but of course with the addition of that lovely blacked out crown with the easy grip ridges and that lovely Tudor Rose logo on there. Moving on now to the strap, and the strap that's holding this gorgeous watch together is made of a black hybrid leather and rubber, which has got a super velvety look to it. Using this hybrid style not only makes this strap very comfortable to wear, but also makes it durable. Therefore, you've got the durability that rubber offers with the luxury and comfort that leather offers as well. It's the best of both worlds. Of course, this has all been blacked out as well, but we have got the addition of some real nice white stitching, which adds some great contrast and ties into all of the rest of the white elements of the watch, bringing everything together as a whole. And then fastening the strap together, we've got a real nice black PVD clasp, 
with a great safety catch on there engraved with the Tudor logo very sturdy clasp on this one nice and easy to open as well no troubles there at all and then if we flip the watch over again you can see that black really does continue the whole way throughout this watch as we've got a black PVD case back which has been topped with a lovely sapphire crystal so you can see that impressive movement working away there and it doesn't end there just to take that blacked out look one step further the inside of the watch has also been covered black absolutely crazy Tudor really have gone all out on this one and that does bring us to the end of this week's review guys hope you've enjoyed the look of this stealthy Tudor black bay in ceramic feel free to head over to our website at thewatchvillage.co.uk just to check out the rest of our stock please get in touch if you'd like us to source any watch for you or if you have any questions and as always Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that thumbs up, comment, like, do all the things to get the algorithm gods going. And as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again in the next one.